a new drone from a pioneering American company. It hopes to raise the bar on aerial photography while making it easier. 3D robotics, solo drone carriers, two computers, and a GoPro camera. The result, a cinematic, a cinematic view that used to be the domain of helicopters and Hollywood movie crews. Drones are expected to be hot sellers this summer and through the holidays. The FAA is testing them now to find the balance between safety and fun. Chris Anderson is CEO of 3D Robotics, and we're walking him to this studio again. again. Welcome back. Yeah. So tell me about what, what's different and smarter about these drones. You know, the, the first thing we did a couple years ago was got robots to fly, right. and that was hard. Then we put cameras on them and stable. That was good. And then we realized there's more to cinematography than just putting a camera in the sky. Right. Steven Spielberg's going to tell the story of your life. He's going to have booms and cranes and directors of photography and actual skill. Right. And so what we decided to do is sort of take that Spielberg skill and turn it into software. And so what's, what makes a great aerial shot is the motion. Mm -hmm. It's the pans and the reveals and all those kind of complex things that have been developed over decades in Hollywood because they look good to the eye. You mean you can put that into software? You push a button and it does these sort of classic shots, you know, the kind of shots you've seen from films, but you don't need the skill. You don't need five thumbs. It's so robotics will now be making movies. Exactly. Well, that's already the case. We already have, you know, many, many cameras in films are actually uh, robot arms. And, you know, as films become more sort of scripted and more CG, the cameras have to be equally robotic to kind of hit their, hit their marks, hit the right point at the right, you know, at the, at the right moment, because the CG has to catch up. Well, now the aerial cameras can do the same thing. What are you targeting with this? Who are you selling me? To? <laughs> <laughs> Besides Charlie Rose, yeah. Exactly. So um, GoPro has been a complete phenomenon. This is this notion of, you know, when they went public recently, they sell a million cameras a month. And this is this notion of this epic, telling the story of your epic life, you know, be a hero is their tagline. Now, you know, that's, so there's this notion, this is the golden age of personal storytelling with YouTube and Instagram and, and you know, and, and, and all these, uh, Facebook, this ability to tell your own story cinematographically. But the one thing you're limited by is just the reach of your arm, you know, unless you have a selfie stick, yeah. God, God, God help us. So as people want to tell their own story better, they just want more, better tools. And one of them is being able to take that camera in the air. So it's GoPro you're, owners. You're also limited by the reach of the law. I mean, if everybody has one of these in their backyard and they're flying them yeah. around the neighborhood, right? I mean, how do you work around that? Yeah, so the law, um, this is called recreational use, and the law allows you to fly under 400 feet and within visual line of sight, which is about 1,000 feet. Now, so, that's, so that's, that's fine. You also can't fly over other people. So you can't fly other people's backyard, for example. So a lot of people are concerned about privacy. Um, but in fact, safety already stops you from doing that. And our software can go even further and let you know what the appropriate rules are in any given case. I am concerned about safety. I don't want to be Debbie Downer at the table, mm. but I think the other day there was an American airline pilot complaining about a drone is up here. Could it possibly get sucked into an engine and take a plane down? Or people who are bad guys who are using them to do bad things. I'm, I'm so worried about it being an accident waiting to happen. What yeah. do you say about that, Chris? Well, a couple things. First of all, um, drones are small and getting smaller. So right now the bird size they're going to get even smaller yet. So, mm -hmm. so a single drone is unlikely to take down a plane. That said, it's a bad thing, and mm -hmm. we want to try to avoid that as much as possible. <laughs> There's kind of two things going on. One of them is accidental, which is what we call sort of you know mass jackassery. Yes. yes. <laughs> which is to say, <laughs> yes, I've seen a lot of that. People <laughs> just suddenly have these. Even these, before I, drones. Yes. You know, I like to, that phrase. Mass jackassery. Say it again. Mass jackassery. <laughs> mass jackassery. I like so, that. which is it used to require <laughs> skills to fly. Now you can yeah. push a button, yeah. and these things can go yeah. go you know really high. Mm -hmm. So I'm just writing down that. I am. <laughs> so, you know, so we as an industry have to, you know, coach people onto what safe and responsible use is. Mm -hmm. So we had a story about how in China they're using drones to, to monitor tests so kids aren't cheating. They catch cheaters. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what it seems to me that with the larger picture is there's a race to look at how drones can be used. Yeah. On the other hand, people are trying to figure out safety and other means of making sure that this progress uh, is not dangerous yeah. or even illegal. Yes? Yeah. Um, so. We can't wait for the regulations to catch up. Right. There's, there's, governments operate too slowly, and there's too many of them. So we, as an industry, have to sort of understand what does safe and responsible really yeah. mean? And that's a combination of safety and privacy. And you know, sometimes you know, some it's local a kind of self-regulation. Exactly. So, the, but we the, can't rely on self. -regulation. Well, well, we can't rely on self-regulation to stop the bad guys. Yeah. But we can help stop the good guys from doing things by mistake. So the brilliant thing about these drones is that they're connected devices. They're the Internet of Things. They're, there's an app, mm -hmm. uh, and the app talks to the cloud. And so every time you turn it on. Mm -hmm. It sends four data points to the cloud. Who, who, who's flying, what, what are you flying, where, and when. And the cloud can send back a red, yellow, or green. Wow. Red means no. 
that you know it's not safe for you, an untrained pilot, to fly in this location. Mm -hmm. Or they can say yellow. Um, it might be safe, um, but here's what you should know: that this neighbor over here has declared that they don't want things flying over them. Or that park over there is a no-drone zone. Mm -hmm. Or then it's red. It's like, hey, that's the White House. No way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It still yeah. seems like the Wild West. Mm -hmm. It really does. Yeah. And if I mean, you, you, you people say, like you, the Wild West, though, Jeff. Well, they do. Yeah, the, the <laughs> Wild West is wonderful. But yeah. um, and, and you say you can't mm -hmm. wait for regulations. But don't there need to be some sort of yeah. basic oh. rules in place? Here, right? There, there are. There are. There are absolutely. So every country, every developed country, has basic rules in place. So under 400 feet, you can't fly over 400 yeah. feet. Well, so that, those are the rules. They've been in place for 30, 40 years, and yet people do it anyway. So what we have here is not a, a law problem, but an enforcement problem. Yeah. And Sam's Club is already predicting is going to be their number one, what, a big seller for them at Christmas. Mm. The price range is pretty big. Yeah. From what to what? Yeah, so, so drones are defined as the ones that are autonomous, that have GPS and things like that. And they start from around $600 and go to $3,000. Mm -hmm. And ours, um, uh, the solo that we're launched, uh, that it's going to be in Best Buy uh, starting next week, is uh, under $1,000. Mm -hmm. And then they'll How be much versions. under? Uh, it's one dollar under a thousand dollars. Nine ninety nine. And it'll go up to it'll go up to fourteen hundred uh, with the gimbal, and then we'll have ones that go that go cheaper as well. So you're going to look at that kind of range. What made you ask how much under? That was, just no. Yeah, that was very good. That said, they're very cool things. I just want people to be responsible when they're using them and know when they can and where they cannot use a them. Absolutely. What's I mean, the real transformation. Otherwise, it'd be jackassery. Yes. yes. Mass. 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 Yeah. The real transformation is it used to require skill to do. This and now yes. it doesn't. It's you just press a button and you get the shot. All right.